five ghosts all on camera. Meanwhile, on TikTok, paranormal investigator Bradford from the YouTube channel The Haunted Lair travels to the abandoned Lakeville State Hospital in Massachusetts. The hospital opened in 1910 and served as a sanatorium to treat patients suffering from tuberculosis and other chronic and crippling conditions. Sadly, the patient list included many abandoned and orphaned children who were often terribly mistreated by the hospital staff. It is rumored that many of these children were buried on the hospital grounds in unmarked graves. Lakeville Hospital was closed in 1993. The large property has been left empty and abandoned ever since. The old hospital is believed to be haunted by the patients who passed away inside its walls. Bradford is joined by his friend Nikki as they explore the creepy hospital. When they find the morgue, Bradford decides to lay down inside one of the morgue's empty body storage lockers. As he's laying there, he experiences something absolutely chilling. Make some kind of banging noise. Nikki, do you hear that banging noise? I'm not moving and it's in the same bed as me, dude. Who's here with me? You really can't hear that, Nikki? You're gonna have like 15 minutes of shit you're trying to listen to right now. So if anybody's in here with me, I'm gonna put this little speaker on the Um Are you walking around right now? Nikki? I'm right here. You're not moving? I'm right here. I legit just had a shadow at the bottom of my feet. Bradford begins to hear a strange tapping sound coming from somewhere nearby, somewhere inside the morgue body locker with him. But things get even stranger as he sees what appears to be a small shadow-like apparition moving upwards and out of sight. He immediately asks his friend Nikki if she's moving around or possibly casting a shadow, but she quickly says that she hasn't moved an inch, and even in the recording we can hear that there's no sound of anyone moving. Um, are you walking around right now? Nikki? I'm right here. You're not moving? I'm right here. My feet haven't moved. So is the Lakeville State Hospital haunted by the patients who passed away there? Let me know what you think. Bradford shared his creepy clips on TikTok, and you can also see his full exploration of the Lakeview Hospital on his YouTube channel, The Haunted Lair. German TikTok user Arvin.de travels to the hometown of one of the most well-known exorcism cases of all time, that of Annalise Mickles. In 1975, Annalise Mickles' family claimed that she demonstrated strange behavior and dark supernatural abilities. Even Annalise herself claimed that she was possessed by a demon. The church was called in and Annalise Mickles went through a total of 67 exorcisms. She passed away under mysterious circumstances in her home at the age of 23. German TikToker Arvin finds a cabin that is said to have belonged to the Mickles family. When he records the inside of the cabin for his TikTok page, he has no idea that he's being watched by something. Did you see it? When Arvin pans his camera, a face can be seen quickly moving away from a hole in the cabin ceiling. Arvin says he has no idea what this creepy face could be and he only noticed it after TikTok viewers pointed it out. So is it a real face? Is it a trick of the light? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide when the lights go out. Abud Hernandez Alvarez claims that his apartment in Mexico City is extremely haunted by a vengeful female spirit 
Now for over a year, he has been documenting the terrifying encounters that he says take place in his apartment on a daily basis. On Nuke's Top 5, I've featured his continuing strange story several times. So let's take a very quick look back. Even creepier, Abiud has had some chilling physical encounters with the spirit that haunts his apartment, including the disturbing sound of high heels walking through his home when no one else is there. And he has even caught the apparition on camera. But oddly enough, up to this point, the specter has only appeared in the reflection of mirrors throughout his house. Once in his bedroom mirror. And then again, the ghost was caught on camera in a mirror in his living room. At first, when this began in early 2020, Abiud said that he didn't mind the mild paranormal occurrences around his home. In fact, he said that he simply found them intriguing, but not necessarily scary. However, since then, things have taken a terrifying turn. The haunting in his home has become much more violent and extreme. And at this point, Abiud says that the strange experiences and loud sounds have become so intense that he can't even sleep at night. Abiud recently uploaded an all new video where he documents a supernatural experience in his home. The late night encounter is absolutely terrifying.
Abby Ute experiences a power outage in his home, which he has mentioned in previous videos often occurs when the supernatural activity becomes very extreme. So he grabs his camera and starts to record. He experiences a few chilling events, but then he once again hears the loud clack of high-heeled shoes on his floor. The footsteps seem to be coming closer and closer. When Abby Ute turns around, he is shocked to see the horrifying figure of a woman, a woman who seems to be creepily smiling back at him. The apparition disappears into thin air and soon after the lights in Abby Ood's apartment come back on and he cuts the camera. Now, after carefully reviewing and enhancing the footage in this video, I discovered another creepy event that most viewers didn't even notice. Even when the video is brightened and slowed down, the strange occurrence is still a little hard to make out. So, did you see it? There's a teddy bear sitting in a chair in the corner of the room. But when Abby Ood pans toward a mirror, the teddy bear is not there in the mirror's reflection. Then, as he pans back toward the chair, the bear is still there, though it seems to have shifted into a different position. This is just seconds before the terrifying apparition of a woman is caught on camera. So, just what do you think happened to Abby Ood Hernandez Alvarez in this Mexico City apartment? Is he capturing real paranormal evidence of a terrifying haunting, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on CCTV. This first video was recorded by a security camera on a very rainy night in Iguatu, Brazil. The footage shows a mysterious woman who looks very confused as she's crossing a rain flooded road. What makes the footage so strange is that the woman seems to be slowly disappearing. She looks incredibly pale and is walking through the heavy rainstorm with hardly any clothing. And eventually, she just disappears. Now normally I would just dismiss this clip as some strange video compression artifact and I'd probably say that the digital camera just wasn't keeping up with her movements. However, a few moments later in the video, a motorcycle speeds down the same road. Unlike the woman, the motorcycle is completely visible, even though it's traveling at a very fast speed. Likewise, the truck in the footage is completely clear. Brazilian video experts are baffled by the bizarre footage. However, locals believe that the strange woman might be the ghost of someone who lost her life on this small stretch of road. And their arguments are fairly compelling because just why was this woman walking around out in a storm in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, on a dangerously flooded road? Let me know what you think. Nuke Stop 5 viewer Jesse Worthington emailed me directly about a video he recorded of some bizarre CCTV security footage. The video shows something Jesse and his friend Sarah just can't explain, and I can't really explain it either. Now just let it play normal. Okay. Didn't do flow. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh huh. Whoa. Yeah. Look how tall they are. Whoa. That ain't nothing. Wait till she slows it up. You see the face. Right there. That was the face. No, not no. yet. There it was. It's coming right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah, it was. 
See right there. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like I want a shot from this too. From this, when we get, when we do. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that ain't nothing. Yeah, hey. That's what I guess would be. Yeah. Right. There. See that? <laughs> there you right go. There, there you uh -huh. go. Whoa. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the recording shows a bright light seemingly peeking from behind a house in a suburban neighborhood. The bright abnormality changes shape as it appears multiple times. Then it seems to morph into two separate lights and just floats away and disappears. A group of friends watch in disbelief. Jesse thinks that it might be some kind of entity accidentally captured on CCTV. As for me, I've honestly never seen anything like this. But just what do you think? Could it be swamp gas, ball lightning, a very odd electrical discharge, or something else entirely? Let me know down in the comments. In another video captured on CCTV, Reddit user LazyRayScallion explains that her cousin sent her a creepy video that was recorded in the conference room of a casino in her hometown. Redditor LazyRayScallion also claims that human remains were found during the construction of the casino in which the conference room is located. The video is chilling. Just as the clock hits the midnight hour, a shadow-like transparent figure can be seen walking from one door to the other in the back of the conference room. Again, I might dismiss this video as a camera glitch, but notice that the figure seems to appear through a closed door and exits through another closed door, which makes the footage very compelling. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. A scary night at the movies. In this next video, popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long and his friend Xiao Shen are exploring an old theater in northern China that has been abandoned for at least 40 years. The two friends find old machinery, projectors, and films dating back to the 1980s. It's unclear why the large theater was abandoned or why so much expensive and collectible film equipment was left behind. As they explore the creepy building, the two ghost hunters try to lighten the mood and joke around as they find the women's restroom. Are you a woman? Are you ready? We are here. Woman, we are here. Welcome to uh, <laughs> Xiaolong and his friends speak English as they jokingly call out to the spirits that might be lingering inside the theater. Or at least the ones lingering in the women's restroom. But after the fun and games, things start to get a bit creepy. When they find the seating area and explore the theater's enormous stage, something seems to be there with them. Something terrifying. 封闭似的,怪不得他妈这老他妈那啥了 Xiaolong and Xiao Shen watch in horror as two mysterious unexplained figures appear right behind the theater screen. When they run to investigate, there's no one there. 
They search, but they can't find a logical explanation for what they just saw. And then things go from bad to worse. The entire front row of the theater seats flip down on their own and then the theater door closes. The two friends are then led on a wild goose chase as they pursue something that seems to slam doors shut right in front of them. Unable to find the source of the strange activity, they return to the theater's seating area. A pale figure seems to be watching them from one of the windows on the third floor. They charge up the stairs, but the mysterious apparition has disappeared. Back in the seating area, they demand the presence show itself, even going so far as to call the ghost a coward. It did not go well. What? A small bucket lying on the floor seems to move on its own. So, obviously, they proceed to kick that bucket's ass. As you do when there's a haunted bucket. But then things get much more serious and downright terrifying. Oh! 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 
Even though there doesn't seem to be any electricity in the rest of the building, the theater lights seem to be powered and suddenly turn on by themselves. Even more horrifying, they illuminate no less than six dark shadowy figures lurking in the seating area, seemingly watching Xiao Long and his friend from the darkness. The two explorers are absolutely horrified, but things get even worse when all the lights suddenly turn off, including the explorers' handheld flashlights. Once Xiao Long gets his flashlight working again, the two make a run for it. You can watch this full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiao Long. And by the way, I wanted to say there was a fake YouTube channel pretending to be Xiao Long's official channel. Hello, I'm Huai Xiaolong. Here I'm going to show you the channel Huai Xiaolong Tiefer PR. You've already violated my personal rights, brand rights, and copyright rights. Please stop your video. So if you were subbed to the other channel, definitely go subscribe to his real YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. There are all new videos there, and they even have English subtitles. The Belshaw House Haunting in the 1870s, in the small California mining town of Cerro Gordo, California, two children were playing hide-and-seek in the house of wealthy local businessman Mortimer Belshaw while he was out. The children hid in a large steamer truck in the master bedroom when the latch became stuck, trapping them inside. Tragically, the two children suffocated inside the steamer trunk. Cut to modern day. Visitors and workers at the historic Belshaw House in Cerro Gordo claim that the ghosts of the two children still haunt the home. Sometimes people hear the sound of children laughing and running, but other times they hear terrifying screams and banging. Many visitors who have slept in the master bedroom claim to have felt a strange heavy pressure on their chest. So, friends Brandon, Corey, Corbin, Elton, and Matt from the YouTube channel TFIL traveled to Cerro Gordo to spend the night investigating the creepy Belshaw house. The group decides to leave Corey and Matt all alone in the allegedly extremely haunted master bedroom. It did not go well. Matt lies down on the bed and is surrounded by cat bell toys that shine colorful lights when touched or moved. Corey sits down next to the bed and the two investigators begin to ask questions directed at any spirits that might be haunting the old home. A static camera records as they soon begin to experience some very creepy activity. If there's anyone here with us, can you give us a sign? Did you just f***ing hear that? What'd you hear? You're joking. What'd you hear? Dude. What'd you hear? Over there. What'd you hear? Where all the nights were all... I felt, I felt like I heard a... It... Or something. Dude. Oh my god. I thought I thought for sure I, I was making that you up. You just said, can you give us a sign? And it goes, I thought for sure I made that up. Like, I thought for sure I was like... Like, nah, you heard that in your head? Yeah. No, I heard that. If that was you, could you give us a knock or maybe light up one of these balls on the bed? Are you hearing this over here? I didn't hear that one. Dude, I'm freaking out, bro. If you are a boy, can you knock one time? And if you are a girl, can you knock two times? You heard that shit over here? You heard that shit? You heard that, right? I thought it was one. Corey and Matt both hear a strange sound that seems like a deep breath. Not once, but twice. The creepy EVP is then followed by the unexplained sound of knocking. The two friends begin to get a bit freaked out by what they are hearing in the dark room. And then, things get much worse. What? Something just pulled my shirt. Oh, dude, are you serious? And then something just pulled my shirt. Are you serious? Whoa, dude, no. I'm not even kidding. Are you serious? I, was this open? Yeah, yeah, that was open, that was open. Dude, something, I felt the chair go like that, and then as I stand up, I feel my jacket like, go like that. How hard was it? Oh, sh dude. And the chair was like this. 
I'm not even kidding. Like, as I'm sitting on it, I felt the chair creak this way. Corey jumps up, saying that he felt like the chair he was sitting on was being moved around and that something was pulling at his jacket. What the two don't know is that the static camera in the room captured something that they couldn't see. Something absolutely terrifying. So, did you see it? Right before Corey jumps up, a strange white figure can be seen floating towards him and then disappearing into thin air. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to think of this bizarre figure other than to say that it does look very odd. So I leave it up to you to decide. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, TFIL. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter right there.